Hi guys, Idan here. Today I'm going to share with you something I noticed today about the Bitcoin price or you know all the cryptocurrency prices basically and mining difficulty and how are those related to each other. I woke up this morning of course to see you know a down market all the cryptocurrencies are down Bitcoin is down everything is down but before we talk about that I want to remind you when I started I started cryptocurrency in 2016 that was the first video I posted and it went viral people loved it and that's where the you know Bitcoin price was about 200 300 bucks back then and from there it just showed up so we need to remember everything is perspective so yes if you invested any you know some money on January this year and then now you sold obviously you're gonna lose money but you have to understand that technology any new technology it takes a long a long time and a lot of people to win money and lose money in order for this to settle down to go into the market but regardless of all that I want to talk about the cryptocurrency mining difficulty on Bitcoin so how does it work when people are mining the more and more people are mining the more the higher the difficulty is gonna go up now Antminer for example came up with the S9 and there's other other uh, versions as well where it's more powerful you know you can get like 14 terahashes per second and you know it doesn't really make a lot of money right now right it makes maybe three bucks a day if you calculate the electricity if you live anywhere with you know normal price electricity you're gonna lose money mining but for some reason difficulty goes up which means more and more people are mining. People are actually adding on new machines or not turning off the old ones. Now remember, there's tons of S7s out there, which is a much lower powered end miners with only four terahashes or so, and they still require a lot of power compared to the S9, same amount of power. So it's even less profit, but people are still mining. Why? Well, I have two theories. I'm not sure which one is true or not, but maybe a combination of both. One theory is there is a new miner out there that it's very efficient and very powerful. We just haven't got introduced to it, us, the people. They are being distributed between big companies or maybe Bitmain themselves, just make it and mine it themselves. I did look at the chart of all the pools out there to kind of see if I see any, any um, pool that takes all the hashing power or have any... Uh, change in their hashing power but it seems like they're all pretty much distributed about the same so it's hard to say that one company is all of a sudden find new technology and start you know have their own miner that that kills all the old miners but I'm not sure that's the case unless there is a miner that is super powerful unannounced and then distributed throughout the pools so then we don't notice so that might happen another theory I have is that people absolutely believe in Bitcoin they believe in cryptocurrency and they know it's gonna go up for a fact they know it's gonna go up and they know that it's worth it for them to pay the electricity price because it's gonna go up that's what happened to me when I was mining in 2016 it wasn't like super profitable I only made a couple of bucks a day but back then you know compared to now it's 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 a big difference and we haven't seen Bitcoin dropping down to a hundred bucks ever that since it went you know above that so you know when you when you take that to perspective it makes you kind of think you know now I'm not saying Bitcoin is gonna go up I'm not saying Bitcoin is gonna go down all I'm saying is there's a lot of people who believe in it and they're not shutting down their miners. Now, some people you see in some small miners do shut down their miners because it's just, you know, it's just too small for them and they shut it down. But there's still more people either not shutting it down or have new ones coming in. People still believe in it even though the price is going crazy. There's a bunch of people out there that absolutely believe in cryptocurrency even though they lose money on it or make not that much as we, you know, not as much profit as they used to. They're still doing it. So I ask you guys, why do you think miners doesn't shut down their miners? Do you think crypto is gonna go down, you know, to the to the ground, or maybe something will be like more stable? I'm just curious with you guys. I never really talked about Bitcoin price that much, but I just noticed something that caught my eye. You know, when you see the Bitcoin price goes down, but more people are mining. It triggers something to me, you know, it's it's uh, and it's been going up no matter what the price has been So it's something to think about so I think the reach of Bitcoin is keep growing 
and it's just a matter of time where we see something interesting happen. But right now everything is a little quiet, a little more, you know, slow, and that's okay. It's time for us to kind of learn and think about the future. I also want to thank today's sponsor's video by Skyther. They have really awesome fans which are super quiet and they're a really good upgrade for a current mining rig if you have it. It's 120 millimeters, which is the standard for mining rigs. It actually have a very high airflow. It's very quiet and reliable. And also they have a really heavy duty CPU fan coolers with an amazing setup where you can actually fit almost any Intel and AMD CPUs. It has one fan built in and has a support to have another. So if you buy those two, you can connect them together and have overclocking, no problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you like it. Don't like it if you didn't like it. And don't forget to check out the giveaway for this week. I'll leave a link below for another $25. I want to thank our winner. It was a really nice guy. I talked to him. Um, thank you so much for last week's winner. And if you want to maybe try to be the winner this week, check the link below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.